longest I've ever filmed a video. We are filming with the rising of the sun and I stayed up too late last night playing Pokemon Sun and Moon, so I'm dragging a little bit. But I've had both coffee and tea, so I am also excited about my plans for the day. I'm meeting up with Sarah and Karen and we're going into the city. We're going to a place called Steadfast Supply and from what I read online, it's like a giant pop-up shop. It's a huge space and a lot of local vendors are coming together to sell their goods. And Becky from Be Clean is gonna be there. She has an all natural shop in DC, which I've shown in a previous video, and she just started carrying Gressa, which is one of my favorite natural brands. Karen, I think, has some things from Gressa. I don't think Sarah has, so I'm excited for her to see those in person. So it should be a lot of fun. Also excited about this makeup look. It is my go-to cozy fall makeup look. I'm calling it sweater weather because that's what it reminds me of really warm glowing cheeks and a very simple cool toned eye didn't feel like wearing full foundation today and my skin's been somewhat clear so i just added a little bit of urban decay concealer underneath my eyes around my nose and then i applied some of the Too faced powder foundation i finished up by doing my normal eyebrow routine and then a viewer actually named odetta recommended a new bronzer to me this is from physician's formula and she had wanted to try the butter bronzer which i talk about all the time but she's very sensitive to a scent and that one is heavily, heavily fragrant. So she bought this one instead. It's called the Mineral Wear Talc Free and it has no scent whatsoever. So this could be a great option. It's a little bit darker than the butter bronzer, but it still blends out just as beautifully. So I use my Too Faced Mr. Right brush and apply this to the top of my cheeks and then all around my hairline and a little bit down my neck. Then I used two Fit Glow Beauty products. The first is their powder in Sculpt. And I used an angle brush. This one is from Terry Mia here. It's the 07. I created a line right underneath my cheekbone, blended it up. And the other place I really like to contour are my temples. So I go kind of from the corner of my eye and then blend it back to my hairline. And it just helps create a little bit of definition on the face. Then I used maybe my favorite Fit Glow product, their highlight powder. Zeus has knocked that off the table, not once but twice, and the second time happened right before I started filming. The first time I was able to salvage it, this time I think I'm gonna have to call it and just order myself a new one, but I did have enough crumbs to use it today. I took it on the e.l.f. This is the small tapered brush. This was a recommendation from you guys in my $10 and under tag. I love it, it's soft. I think it's the perfect size to highlight. So I just create a shape from the end of my brow and then onto the top of my cheek. This is such a pretty highlighting powder. It's gorgeous and I think it's great if you have very fair skin because it has that white to it. We can also mix them together. So I think it could be a nice highlighting powder for a lot of different skin tones. So once I had all that, I added one, actually I had a lot, I have a lot of products on my cheeks today, but I took the Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy Blush. This is a great everyday neutral blush and I picked up mostly this side because I already had a lot of highlight going on and I used the Real Techniques Multi multitask brush to apply this and I focused it mostly on the back part of my cheek and then once I had all the color laid down I took whatever was left on the brush to kind of brush it forward and blend it onto the apples. I'm going to create a really easy eye using the Fit Glow Duo in the shade Slate. This is from their fall collection I believe and it's cooler than I usually go but it's actually I just reach for it all the time pretty much every time I'm using eyeshadow lately I've been grabbing for this so easy to do just to use two colors. I'm gonna get a little bit closer and show you how I do it. I grabbed a really large eyeshadow brush. This is the Mr. Handyman from MOTD and I have the pink shade which is kind of my exact skin color just a little bit pinker, peachier and I'm going to press this all over from my lash line all the way up underneath my brow. Now into the purpley gray color I have the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 and I'm gonna start at the outside corner even on my lid a little bit. And I'm just going to press this color in. And once I have the color down, I'm gonna slowly start bringing my brush into my crease. So I'm doing windshield wiper motions to place the color and then I go in with little tiny circles to help start blending it out. I actually kind of love the contrast of cooler eyes with warmer cheeks, but if you wanted to bring a little bit of warmth to the eyes, you could use either your contour powder or whatever bronzer you used and then run it on the same brush right into the crease and that'll just warm things up a little bit. Now I love winged liner. I think it's very romantic, but sometimes thick black winged liner just looks a little harsh on me and it has to be its own look, if that makes sense. So today I went with something a little bit softer. I used one of the Gressa Obscure Eye Tints. 
So this color is a deep brown with a lot of plumminess to it and it works great as a liner. I use one of the Tarte liner brushes and I created a fairly thick line and then winged it up at the ends. And I'm getting some of that drama, but it's not as harsh. So just a little bit more of a cozy look. When I was thinking about this video, this is the sweater I had in mind. It's from Lou and Gray. It's amazing, it's so comfortable. Sadly though, I think it's a little bit too warm to wear it today, but it's gonna cool down, so I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. But I just wanted to show the completed look with this sweater on. And when I've been wearing this look, I have two go-to lip colors. What I have on right now is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. These feel amazing, and this is by far my favorite. I've tried a couple from the line, and Bound is definitely the way to go. And then if I want to deepen things up, add a little bit more drama, I've been loving Bites Nori. I actually think I'm going to blot down Bound just a little bit, apply some of Nori to deepen it up, and then reapply Bound on top and show you how they look together. Okay, this is Nori with just a little bit of Bound applied on top. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing my current favorite products, things I have in heavy rotation. If you wanna stick around, I'm gonna bring my little camera and I'll do a tour of the Steadfast Supply. I think it's in the Navy Yards, which I don't think I've been to before, so I'm excited to check it out. If you're in the States, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, and I'll be back soon. My next video is going to be my gift guide, which I've already started working on and I'm so excited about. So thank you for watching today, and I'll be back with my gift guide very soon. Mm -hmm.